For the third year in a row, Hilton is the world's most valuable hotel brand with a brand value of 6.3 billion US dollars, according to valuation and brand strategy consultancy, Brand Finance. This week, Hotel in Middle East looks at the growth of the two brands over the last year. I'm Strakshi Rai, this is Davina Devecha, and you're watching What's Trending on Hotel in Middle East. This year, Hilton has seen their lead at the top over Marriott shrink from more than 3.3 billion US dollars to just 865 million US dollars, a staggering 74% drop. Now, this is massive. Yeah, and as Hilton's brand value decreased, Marriott's uh, improved uh, its brand value 8% to just under 5.5 billion US dollars on the back of growing group revenues. And a driving force behind this increase can be traced to its acquisition of Starwood in 2016, which was its largest ever. And this boosted the company's number of properties across the world as well. Now, Marriott's success is prevalent throughout 2018, isn't it? Um, and when you look at the 2018 table and you compare its portfolio to Hilton's, only five hotel brands from Hilton's portfolio made it to the table compared to 15 from Marriott. Yeah. Additionally, the total value of Hilton's hotel brands in the brand finance hotel 50 league table fell by 23%, while the total value of Marriott's portfolio rose by 3%. Right, and obviously the figures uh, don't lie. Uh, Marriott has made a big improvement, but it is still in second place. Now, the CEO of Brand Finance, David Haig, uh, said in a statement that uh, the trends in the Brand Finance Hotel's 50 league table reflect the success of Marriott's expansion strategy, uh, which is likely to um, exert a positive impact on brand value in the future. He also said that it'll be interesting to see if Marriott overtakes Hilton to claim the top spot uh, for the most valuable hotel brand next year. Uh, but obviously, there's more than just this. There is another threat to the hotel industry, which is the rise and rise of Airbnb. I mean, you're absolutely right, Davina. Perhaps the biggest threat to the hotel industry is the growth of online community accommodation sites like Airbnb. Now, though the brand is not included in the brand finance league table because they don't own any properties yeah. themselves, Airbnb's brand value has risen by more than 51% to 5.5 billion US dollars over the last year. Now, this marks the first time in which Airbnb's brand value exceeds that of all but one hotel brand valued in the brand table, which is Hilton. Mm. Um, given Hilton's downward trend, it would not be surprising to see Airbnb surpass all hotel brands in the 2019 league table. Um, now, what's more is that Airbnb may soon come into much more direct competition with hotels as it begins to target businesses and business travelers through their Airbnb for Business program, which launched in the second half of 2017. Now, time will tell if hotels move to collaborate with Airbnb in the future or try to compete by providing authentic guest experience services to consumers yep. by raising the game for great guest experiences. Yeah, so let me tell you a little bit about what's in store for Hilton and Marriott in 2018, specifically uh, in this region. So obviously, they are both launching new properties uh, in this region. For example, Hilton opened the Hilton uh, Cairo Heliopolis, which will sit alongside the first Waldorf Astoria in Egypt, which is also actually its first in Africa. And it's also doing well in Saudi Arabia with uh, Hilton's hotel openings in 2018, including the Hilton Riyadh Hotel and Residences, the Hilton Garden in Al Khobar, as well as the Double Tree by Hilton in Makkah's Jabal Omar development. Now, according to recent research by Top Hotel Projects, Hilton is actually identified as the brand with the most hotel developments currently underway in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Uh, and between the openings I just mentioned, um, they will add more than 1,500 rooms across the company's footprint in Saudi Arabia as well. Now, with Marriott, there's obviously the W Dubai de Palm, which we've all been waiting for uh, later this year. Um, there's also the W Amman and the W Muscat. So there's a few of that brand, uh, you know, hotels popping up across the region. Then there's also a loft, which recently opened on the Palm Jumeirah, as you know. But it's also looking to open the Alof Mayasim, City Centre Dera, and in Dubai South, all these properties this year. So, and that's just two of the Marriott brands that we're looking at. So there's a lot happening with that company. So it's a very exciting time for the two brands, especially in the region. Yeah. Now that's all from us this week. Stay tuned next week for more. I'm Surakshi Rai. And I'm Davina Devecha. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.